Hi everybody, no mind here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Path of Exile Affliction, the new expansion coming out for Path of Exile. It drops on December 8th, which is just next week. So without further ado, let's jump right into it and discuss the new changes coming with the expansion. In Path of Exile Affliction, you'll cleanse the Radiant Wildwood of its affliction, earn valuable rewards, and learn the ancient ways of the Edsmeri people. Our December expansion introduces the Affliction Challenge League, three new Wildwood Ascendancies, the Return of Ultimatum League, and over 100 new Transfigured Gems and much, much more. This is really exciting, guys. Basically, what this means is you're going to have your regular ascendancy and then you're going to have another ascendancy to choose from. It's going to be super exciting. We'll talk more about that later in the video. And also the return of a fan favorite, the Ultimatum League. I know a lot of people have been asking about this, so glad to see this return. It's definitely been a few years. And the last important part, over 100 new transfigured gems. Basically, they got rid of the lab enchantment system. Now you enchant your gems instead and they turn into something with new functionality for existing skills, which is super exciting. We're going to talk about that in uh, later in the video. Basically, how this league mechanic is going to work, you're going to have a zone in your map called the Viridian Wildwood. And basically, as you approach the darkness, your wisp will burn away the affliction that shrouds the forest. Basically, you're going to enter the zone and you're going to have wisp around you. And they're going to pretty much burn away the darkness and kind of allow you to explore the area. But beware, your wisps only have a limited amount of power before they run out and you will return to ray class. Be warned, the darkness is full of cursed monsters, as you would come to expect, uh, that emerge to kill you. As you know, I would expect nothing different from Path of Exile. And as you explore, you might see other types of wisps trapped inside the darkness. Follow the trails of wisps by collecting them, and you may uncover many different secrets such as new characters, shrines, boss battles, and new encounters. There are many rewards to earn for those brave enough to seek them. Super exciting, yeah. And then basically... As you return from the Wildwood, basically once you exit the zone back into your map, any wisps that you have saved from the Affliction disperse into the environment and inhabit randomly chosen monsters, increasing the power and also the reward. The different types of wisps have different effects and sometimes more than one type will inhabit a single monster, making them fight even harder but even more rewarding so basically you, right here it shows some of the buffs that they can grant basically prim primal wisps grant an item rarity bonus to inhabited monsters wild wisps grant an item quantity bonus and vivid wisps cause them to drop currency items a very strong combination here you could definitely i'm sure there's going to be some kind of abuse in this league where you're going to just be dropping divines and divines orbs and chaos orbs and all kinds of goodies maybe in some stacks of mirrors who knows you know if a monster gets all three types, they'll drop even more items of a high rarity and a lot of currency. All right, all right, it's official, guys. The league's basically going to be shitting out mirrors. It's going to be amazing. So let's talk about the new ascendancies. Basically, there's three new ascendancies in this expansion. You're going to have the choice of one of the three on top of your regular ascendancy classes. So basically, if you're like a Templar and your ascendancy is an Inquisitor, you're going to have one other ascendancy choice based on these three i'm about to go over here the first one we're going to talk about is warden of the magi the warden of eves can teach you to become a warden of the magi a powerful class that takes advantage of wilderness knowledge wardens of the magi can coat their weapons with tinctures granting them special bonuses for example the ironwood tincture always stuns enemies on full life and the oak branch tincture is a great finisher for bosses a Warden of the Magi has many older wilderness abilities such as Barkskin, which causes Barks to grow all over your body, increase armor and you take damage, and the Bark temporarily falls off, which increases your evasion. So that's kind of cool. Basically, it's, you know, high armor, and then once you take damage, your evasion increases, but your armor kind of dissipates the armor buff, basically. That's kind of cool. It seems like a pretty basic class, right? Your weapon is sort of enchanted and, you know, you kind of have like some defensive bonuses. Pretty like all around like cookie cutter ascendancy, you know? I don't see anything too exciting with this, but maybe the other ascendancies have something more exciting. Let's keep going. The next ascendancy we're going to talk about is Warlock of the Mist. Basically, you're going to be a warlock, kind of like a minion ascendancy. It's going to be crazy, guys. You're going to have, you're going to be a witch this league. Then you can ascend to a necromancer. And then you can ascend again to a Warlock of the Mist. That's so cool. Like, holy smokes. And one of the powerful abilities you can choose from is Blood Hunt, which is you consume a corpse to gain more damage and protection against monsters that share a creature type with the corpse. So basically, um, you know, like, uh, corpses now have corpse types. So this is a humanoid. This is a construct, which is like machines and stuff. And this is an Eldritch entity, right? So basically what you can do is you can, so basically I believe all the endgame bosses are Eldritch entities. So like Eater of Worlds, uh, Searing Exarch, Maven, etc, etc. And basically before you go to fight them, if you're a Warlock of the Mist, you can consume an Eldritch Corpse and you can gain powerful defensive 
and offensive buffs against Eldritch entities um, that can really buff you in combat. So overall, that's pretty cool. I'll do a more detailed video on going over like all the like the nitty gritties of all these ascendancies. But right now, I just kind of want to do like a general overview. So with that, let's move on to the next ascendancy. And we save the best for last, the Wildwood Primalist Ascendancy. Basically, the Primal Huntress lets you customize your tree using charms that have randomly generated skills from the regular ascendancy classes, which sounds super strong. Basically, it's like build your own ascendancy, like literally on top of your regular ascendancy, which honestly sounds super broken, you know. Uh, charms are attributed aligned magic items that can have up to two random modifiers. Also, this ascendancy also gets an extra small backpack or the ability to use war cries to cause corpses to uh, drop extra items. This is, this to me right here, the small extra backpack, basically like a, an additional inventory slot that's like smaller than your actual inventory, but I mean, still something you can put items in. This can be invaluable when map clearing, you know, for people who don't have as strict loot filters, who like picking up literally every single thing off the floor. This is going to be like a really cool ascendancy and you can basically customize it. Basically, you're going to have like these charms here and they're going to have like a random, you know, just basically like random stats from all of the other ascendancies and onto like one item. This is like a strength based uh, ascendancy. This is more of like an invasion, like dexterity based ascendancy. And this is more of like an intelligence uh, based ascendancy right here. So again, super exciting. Uh, very, lo very looking forward to see like uh, how people can, you know, abuse this, this. I mean, honestly, I think this league is going to have some of the craziest builds we've ever seen in Path of Exile, truly. And it wouldn't be a new league without valuable new rewards. In this league, you're going to have 15 new unique items and they show some of them here. Basically, this amulet, nothing special. It looks like a nice leveling amulet, if anything, required level 48. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, Kappa. Um, <laughs> uh, and then this item right here, probably some, you know, meme, like, block, reflect, build. Uh, something could be done with this, I'm not too sure. Uh, and then this right here, plus 12 levels of socketed skill gems, and then minus 2 level of socketed skill gems per socketed gem. If this means over all of your gear, then this item seems inherently pretty bad, but I'm not sure. The wording is a little confusing. We'll have to see how it plays out in game, but there might be a build or two out there that you can do with this, or it might be like the most broken item in the game. Who knows? You know, we kind of have to play around with it. Also, the return of the king, the return of ultimatum. Ultimatum is finally going core. The trial master has returned and will offer you a choice to undertake a deadly vault trial in exchange for greater words. If you defeat the trial, he offers to go double or nothing with you. Do you take the risk and go for an even better reward, or do you lock in the winnings you have already earned? We've done a full rebalance of ultimatum and ha have added new modifiers, Atlas passive skills, keystones, and rewards, including both new and reworked uniques. So basically what they did, they basically got rid of Metamorph. Metamorph is no longer in the game as of the next, once this uh, patch drops, and all the metamorph nodes on the Atlas passive skill tree have been re uh, replaced with ultimatum uh, keystones. So it's going to be pretty exciting. Again, I'll probably do a different video on that if I get to it. Uh, but yeah, super excited for this. Honestly, metamorph was fun, but honestly, they never got the organ, the unique organ uh, balance. You know, they, they never got the drop rate balance, right? You know, you, you would always have one or two of more organs than like the other three right you will never have like a nice even split of the organs and, and they never got that right so i'm glad they kind of did away with it and now i believe ultimatum is also going to drop your catalysts also so there you go and lastly guys transfigured gems alternate quality gems labyrinth helm enchantments and unique threshold jewels have been combined into a new system called transfigured gems alternative versions of existing skill gems that have different functionality and balance there are over a hundred of these, such as Frost Realm of Instability, Dead Nate Dead of Scavenging, Raised Zombies of Falling, Firestorm of Meteors, and many, many more. The divine font at the end of the Eternal Rabbit has been changed to a gem crafting device that can create transfigured gems, add quality or experience to gems, sacrifice a gem for one or more treasure keys, exchange support gems for exceptional support gems like Empower, Inline, and more. So basically guys, like let's say Firestorm has Firestorm or Pelting, which does something different, and then Firestorm of Meteors, which is basically like one big meteor, which is, you know, honestly, like, I think this is a much better system. I think this promotes a lot more build diversity, you know, and, you know, like you don't like, you know, if you have, if you love playing Tornado Shot, there might be a lot of different versions of Tornado Shot now, which are equally as effective. So I think this is pretty exciting. I'm sure there's going to be some busted things in here. 
I'm not a build maker, um, so I'm excited to see what other people come up with this league, and I would love to play those builds eventually. And, you know, maybe in the future I'll share some of my favorite builds um, that I've played in the league with you guys, so you can maybe try them, and maybe if you haven't heard of them, I'll introduce you to them. So yeah, you know, subscribe and follow, all that good stuff, you know, if you want to stay updated on that. Yeah. And there you have it, folks. A quick look at Path of Exile Fiction. It's dropping next week, December 8th. I'm super excited to check it out. I'm definitely going to be going all in on League Launch. You know, just going to be no lifing the game, as is tradition with a lot of us, I believe. Um, and thank you so much for all the support, guys. Thank you for liking and subscribing my other videos. The channel has definitely done a lot better than I predicted. I only started like a three months ago, you know. So it's definitely like a you know, like a good motivator to kind of keep going. I'm helping a ton of people and I really appreciate the comments that say, hey, thank you so much for all your help. You know, even though it's like, you know, basic simple stuff, you know, I know that people, it's not sometimes like intuitive, right? So I love making videos about that sort of stuff and I just love helping people. And again, thank you so much for all the support. And again, if you have any other video ideas, I might do a little bit of a different content leading up to League Launch. I might do some build guides and things like that. Maybe talk about what I'm going to be playing. Again, um, to keep updated on that, just make sure you subscribe and, and, you know, like the video for the YouTube algorithm. And again, thank you so much, guys, for all the support. This is Lomine signing out. Thank you.